Here we go with a video about Scottish place names. I know they're very difficult, which is why um, I responded to a request by Dan, Dan and Serena to do this. I have to say, first of all, that my accent is quite soft. Although I grew up in Scotland, I spent a lot of time down south teaching English in England and as a result things like the rolled R have more or less disappeared and uh, I have to try really hard to bring it back but I'll do my best. As I said I'm doing this video particularly for Dan and Serena who operate a company called Join Me. They take small parties of Mandarin speakers to Scotland and they offer a really good service. Let me just get their card. My first point is to say there are certain prefixes which are quite common in place names in Scotland. Na uh, prefixes like Inver, which means on the banks of a river. Aber, this means at the mouth of a river. Glen, which is valley. Kin, which is head, as in at the head of a loch. Loch, which is lake. And another very common one is och, which is field. Next stage, let's do the main cities. The capital, Edinburgh. Edinburgh is the cultural capital, certainly, for festivals, beautiful historic buildings and museums. And although that's the capital, the biggest city is Glasgow. Glasgow also has beautiful buildings. They tend to be more of the Victorian Empire era, but beautiful all the same. And again, they have wonderful museums in Glasgow. The third city is Aberdeen, where I come from, or as the locals call it, Aberdeen. My partner, Xiaomin, loves Aberdeen and he loves going into Aberdeen, except the traffic's quite busy. I went to university in Aberdeen and both of us taught at university in Aberdeen. Um, beautiful buildings, old streets round about the university, um, but we have bad memories of that. Oh aye, Aberdeen is Ava Bonnie, Ken. Which roughly translated means, yes, Aberdeen's lovely. You know, that was Shamin, by the way. Other s towns and cities, Dundee, on the banks of the Tay, where the new v &A Museum is. Perth, uh, a historic capital. Stirling with the old castle, very beautiful. And Inverness, up in the north, the Highland capital. Now I'm going to challenge Dan and Serena to pronounce some place names in Scotland. So what we're going to do is we'll look at some of these, just some of them. Okay. And 
I'll give you a number and you say them if okay. you can. Okay. And then afterwards I will put subtitles on mm. so that people watching know which name you're trying to say. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's start with um, Dan. You try number five. Okay. Ach, it's a red. Okay, how many syllables did you say? Ach, five. Ach, te, ra, da. You said five. Yeah. It should only be four. Mm. So, what do you think? One more go. Okay. Ach, ach te, ra, da. Okay, why do you put a uh after the ch? Ah, ah. Okay, I'll say that one. Okay. Achterader. Achterader. Better. Ah, So it's three syllable? No. Achterader. A four. I see. Okay. But you were saying achterader. Oh. Mm. All right, Serena, you try number seven. Seven. Ah, after. Makti. Quite good, yes. After <laughs> Makti. After Makti. Yes, that's better. Mm. Now, number eight's a good one. I'm saving that for you. Okay. <laughs> So, achi, achi tipu. Sounds so, like a Japanese. No, it sounds like he's sneezing. A hill to beauty. A hill to beauty. A hill to beauty. A hill to beauty. Okay. Oh. Um, which one? <gasps> Number eleven's difficult. Who's going to... Serena. Serena. Tina Brut. Tina Brut. I don't know. <laughs> Do you remember what the CH sounds like? <gasps> and this is actually Tina Bruich. A Tina Bru... Bruich. 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 <laughs> I know, it's difficult. Yeah. Now, I know, I know that Dan likes number 14. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, I try. Crazy's Castle. No, 14. Oh, 14. 14. Glam's Castle. Yes, I knew you knew that one. Okay. Because you went there yesterday, didn't you? Yes, I enjoy it. Okay, but compare 14 to 15. What do you think 15 is? Me? Mm hmm. Classics Castle. You see, that one's Glam's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one is Krathis. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Number 16 is difficult. Cushion Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Cushion Castle. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kalen. Oh, Kalen. Kalen Castle. E. So e. there's no Li this song. There's no Z. Okay, oh. I see. Kalen. I don't know why, they're just yeah. strange. Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> And Dan's favourite. Dan has been trying to get me to say that number 18 oh. since they arrived last night. <laughs> we have a distillery close to our house called Glen... Mm. Gariach? Gar Gariach? <laughs> the wh whiskey distillery next to our house is called Glengiri. Glengiri? Yes. But there's no L E N. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just the name of this area, Giri. Oh, I see. Okay. Giri. There's there's no rule. What else have we got? Oh yes, the, you tried these yesterday. Mm -hmm. If you drive out of Aberdeen and you go yeah. up towards Balmoral mm -hmm. on D side, 
we have cults, mm -hmm. and then Carter, Cooter, Cooter, and Peter Cooter, Peter Cooter. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Silly, isn't it? Yeah. Um, do you want to try any of these? Sorry, now your turn. Bremer. Bremer. Oh, Bremer. Mm. Yes. That is usually, Bremer is usually the coldest place in the United Kingdom. When they do the weather forecast, yeah. Bremer is usually, usually the coldest place. Mm. It's like up to the north. Mm. And these are names that you asked me to yeah. point out. So which yeah. ones would you like to try? Um... Uh... Kyle of Loch. Kyle of Loch Alsh. Loch Alsh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. This is a little village in Isle of Skye. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you take people to number 31, don't you? Oh, that yes. Difficult. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> Glenfinnan Viaduct. Glenfinnan. Glenfinnan Viaduct. When you've got Glen at the start, it means valley. Mm -hmm. So think of it as two words, Glen and Finnan. Glen, Finnan. Yes. My yes. Okay. Tourists always want to see that, don't they? Yes. I think there are a few more. Yeah. Um, Armadale. 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 Mm. And Marlock. This is a strange one. Yeah. Um. I, when I started with the Scottish Tourist Board, mm. I used to call it Maleg. Mm. But a local person told me it's Malig. Malig. Yes. Oh. The stress is on the first syllable. Mm. Sometimes the place names are pronounced in a peculiar way yeah. by the locals. Mm. For example, there's a small town or small village near Inverness n near Inverness it's spelt a v o c h mm -hmm. what do you think that is <coughs> you would expect it to be avic yeah yeah but local people who live there call it och oh. 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 I, <laughs> oh, I think this is a very good for me to remember because mm. my leg my leg <laughs> 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 my leg okay good no my leg <laughs> my, my leg okay <laughs> but you've got two legs <laughs> yes it's fine yeah i, I remember my okay. leg <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> and 28 i'll i'll say I learn say. I know run say. I know. I learn say. I know run say. Okay. Oh, nice. On the west coast, where mm. the names are from Gaelic, mm. you often find that an extra syllable is added. Oh. Mm. Whereas on the east coast, it's not usually from Gaelic. Gaelic. Hmm. And we miss out samples. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> and number six, you try number six. Fort Augustus. Fort Augustus. Mm. Fort Augustus. Augustus. Mm -hmm. Augustus. Mm -hmm. Fort Augustus. Okay. Peter Lor Lodgy. <laughs> C-H isn't <laughs> ch. Oh, it's Pete Loch Loi. Pete Lochri. Pete Lochri. Okay. Lochri. Remember not to add a syllable. Pete Lochri. <laughs> Pete Lochri. <laughs> I know, that's <laughs> difficult, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Try, try. Pete Lochri. Good, good. Well, I think that was long enough for this edition. We'll continue with a longer edition at another point. Thank you, Dan and Serena.